What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go through each of the classes, we're gonna do a one by one, and I just kinda wanna talk about each of the class and specific changes to them and just kinda give you my thoughts and feedback on how I think some of the changes are gonna affect the class and how good or bad they're gonna be. And I think it's just gonna be really cool to just kind of open up the possibilities to theory crafting and how cool some of these builds and characters and classes might be going in where some of them were lacking in season one and season zero and some were really good and just see the optimal changes excuse me so we're going to start down the list and we're just going to start with barbarian this is the class that i started with in season one i was actually bribed or voted out by my uh, community over here live on twitch and they voted me for me to play barbarian now i will tell you the barbarian had a really really bad leveling process in the game or at least in season one and it was just okay if not worse in season zero and they've nerfed the barbarian numerous times and i'm really hoping that a lot of the increases or buffs that are coming to the barbarian will be really good to kind of open up a lot of things here so barbarian is probably my least played class just because the three shout x was just kind of boring for me on top of everything else but i am very optimistic for this class so let's kind of look at the changes just do a quick rundown and just kind of talk about how there's some really good possibilities for this class so starting out the the bonus damage granted while berserking is active while Berserking is active, is now multiplicative instead of additive. So this is a theme throughout each of the classes and going into Season 2, which is I think is very smart by Blizzard because we want characters to feel very powerful, um, not just in the early stages or around 60, but this also includes the late game. So they're pushing Berserking a lot for the Barbarian in Season 2, so I think there's going to be a lot of Berserking classes, or at least things that just trigger Berserking, especially Wrath of the Berserker, which is the ultimate, or one of the ultimates that, that grants this. So now that you have multiplicative damage, I think this is just flat, insane amount of damage bonus for the Barbarian, which is going to be really, really cool and allow you to stay into, you know, Berserking a lot longer. So Enhanced Bash, Fortify, which is a huge thing because they're pushing Overpower a lot. Um, a big thing that they changed was almost every single thing that is based on base life has now changed to maximum life, which I think is just awesome because there's so many ways to improve your life and just get insane amounts of life, 10, 20K life um, in the game. And it will really make builds that focus on that really strong. And Barbarian is one of them because naturally they just have more life than other classes. So damage to upheaval has been increased just by a little bit. Um, even Ferocious has been increased, and then the maximum number of stacks has been reduced from 10 to 6, which is good. Um, so even though we're getting a higher damage increase, the 4 stacks less, the numbers kind of pan out. You're going to be doing a little bit more damage, but I still think it's really good. Uh, all the cry, like, what is it? Rallying Cry changed to Max Life. Same thing with Iron Skin and Mighty War Cry, all based on Max Life, which is, which is huge. Um, so the Supreme of the Wrath of the Berserker did get the maximum damage bonus capped at a 100% uh, multiplicative, but it still doesn't matter. It's still going to be insane amount of damage. It's just capped. So that way there's room for other stuff in the future. So I think that's really good. A lot of people gave a lot of flack to the, uh, the nerf to crit and Voln on top of the nerf to Berserker as well as the Grizzly Rage for the Druid. But I think this is just really, really good in general. Um, Enhanced Rupture. Additionally... The damage is increased by 10 times percent for each 50 strength you have. This is just really, really cool for bleed builds. I think this with Warrior's Rupture for increased attack speed and then the healing increase. I think this is going to really play on bleed. Bleed was actually pretty cool in one of the main builds that we played in Season 1. And it got better in the later stages um, with better gear. So I think Rupture and the bleed type builds are going to be really, really tanky. I mean, just attack really fast and just have even more life, and then you just do even more damage. I think it's going to be really, really cool. There's a lot of options here. The passives, Endless Fury, uh, gain has been increased. Imposing Presence, the max life is increased. Martial Vigor, damage reduction is increased. Thick Skin is based on max life. So throughout each of these classes, guys, pretty much everything got buffed across the board, but we're just kind of looking at what exactly that they changed. Um, Decimator Paragon Board, they increased this. So every time you make enemies vulnerable, um, you grant even more damage bonus, which is insane. Bone Breaker, um, you do even more stun based on how much life you have for Fortify. Flawless Technique, Crit Strike Max is increased from 5 to 8%, and the duration by 2 more seconds. Awesome. 
Carnage, attack speed maximum increase by 8%. That's huge. Warbringer fortifies increase. Weapon Master on the swaps. Grant even more, uh, or was three fury. Now it grants 4% of your max fury. That's a huge buff on the Weapon Master swap um, build, or what's it called? Uh, it was called, I can't remember the name for it, but where you swap uh, weapons multiple times and you just do a crap ton of damage. The 4% is actually way stronger than three fury. So that's really, really good. Hemorrhage again, guys, the bleed. Uh, previous enemies, now your bleeding damage is increased by the total amount of damage to vulnerable enemy bonus. So that's actually really, really good. You can still stack Vuln and get that plus 20% or 0.2 and stack it with bleeding. Bleed builds are going to be awesome for Barbarian. So like Whirlwind is still going to be good. Rupture is going to be awesome. So you're going to have a lot of these things that are really, really strong. Blood Rage. Your damage is increased by total damage while berserking. Again, with the berserking. We already knew the change to the Ancestral Life Force with the Hammer of the Ancients. Now this just works like normal instead of it having a bug. Earth Striker, weapon swap requirement for overpower has been reduced. They are really pushing weapon power. Now the Uniques, they did get some changes to the Uniques. I think some of these are really, really good. However, I don't know how many of these are still going to be used. In the builds, this is going to come with a lot of testing because um, a lot of these weren't used at all anyway. Overkill, chance to uh, against injured enemies for death blow, field of crimson. Um, bonus, ranks of rupture, and then rupture cooldown. Ru rupture bleed build is going to be nuts. Battle trance for even more frenzy and uh, berserking. The thousand steps, the dexterity affix is increased by 100%. And then damage with skills that have, uh, when you weapon swap, increase by 50%. And then the cooldown from ground swap has been cut in half. That's absolutely insane. This was like one of the boots that were used very, very rarely. So I think it's going to be kind of cool. Rage of Hargoth or Harogath. Damage reduction from bleeding enemies. Affix is increased. See, like, their bleed's going to be so good. And then the grips for... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. The gore grips. So this is for whirlwind. Attack speed is replaced with crit strike chance against close enemies. So improving the attack speed of whirlwind is a fantasy. Yeah. So they're really, really pushing the bleed um, aspect as well as berserking for the barbarian. So I think it's going to open out like less like three X shout builds. I know shouts are still going to be very, very strong for the barbarian, but having some very good bleed builds as well as like really just hammering down on berserking with some other skills is going to be really really cool um just <coughs> excuse me guys <coughs> sorry for the cough there um but yeah a lot of this is really pushing towards bleed which i think is going to be great for spin to win i think it's going to be great for just rupture i think it's going to be great for um what is it there's another one that really uses bleed um weapon master is going to be cool um, then you have the uniques where you the steel grasp ability is going to be really really cool um, that's uh, actually focused in on bleed so i think there's a lot of really good options here for the barbarian i hope the leveling process is going to be a little bit faster for the bar but it looks like some really really good uh, bonuses here double damage or not double damage but uh, more complicative damage while berserking and then the bleed aspects are going to be some very very good build builds so i think like Whirlwind is still going to be super strong. Rupture should rupture and, and then another bleed type build with like Rend is going to really come into the mix and I think just be kind of moved up in power. Um, Hammer of the Ancients is always going to be good, but it, the Berserking is really going to be unique uh, flex inside some of these builds and just kind of some added things. It's going to be hard to ignore that huge power bonus there, but yeah guys this is a brief overview of all the changes that are coming to the barbarian and just kind of some of my thoughts and ideas of what some possible builds could be we're going to have some um we're starting necromancer this season but we will eventually get to the barbarian and kind of trick out some builds for you guys so like the video let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about these changes to the barbarian and what are some possible builds that you think could come from some of these changes that really helped the barbarian out um make sure to subscribe and as always stay gaming catch you guys in the next one peace